Artlist.io Hey, what's going on guys and in this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a flower bloom using cloth simulation in Blender and as you can see, uh, our flower is unblooming itself but when you reverse it you get the effect that it is blooming so this is what you wanna achieve in this tutorial so first you need to get a flower uh, I have this flower I'm using this flower I think this is a sunflower and if you want this particular flower the links will be in the description you can download it for free uh, so yeah once you have uh, imported the flower uh, to the UV board uh, you have to go to the phys physics tab and enable cloth simulation and once you enable the cloth simulation this is the settings I recommend uh, you this is a settings that I recommend and this settings works perfectly with this simulation so call steps 8 speed multiplier set to 2 vertex mass 5 uh, wear viscosity default your stiffness is also default as well as the damping under collision i have set the quality to 5 and i'm turned down the distance all the way down also the self collision to distance also and under property weights uh, you have to turn up the max compression to 25 and set the gravity to 0 as you can see i have made a bunch of uh, you know keyframes for the gravity uh, i'll just uh, walk through that further on this video after you've done this, uh, we have to pin the middle part. So what you have to do is that we're going to select this flower, and uh, let me just show you real good. So yeah, so just go to Edit tab like this, and press C on the keyboard, and just scale this up, and select the edge part of the petals like so. Make sure the all the petals are selected, even from the bottom and under data make sure you create a group like this and assign it and once you after you assign that you have to head over to physics tab and under shape you have to pin the group over here otherwise it's just going to fall down uh, for example i'll just show you as you can see this uh, it's not blooming right out right uh, at the starting of the video i showed you that it is working perfectly uh, as soon as I just pin the group over here this middle part will be like putting a nail to a cloth and this just works fine so this middle part will stay uh, in this in that position itself and the other uh, petals will move so once you've done that uh, what we we'll have to do is that we'll just uh, take a spear and scale it in Z axis so that it becomes the oval and add a force field as well as collision make sure the collision is up otherwise the petals you know uh, in our case is the cloth will go through that spear and we don't want that so make sure you uh, add a collision first and then add a force field and we'll just keyframe this and as you can see uh, till the frame 50 it is zero and as you, and also our oval is going near to the you know, center of our flower and after it goes to the center of our flower, we'll just uh, bump it up to minus 50. Uh, like as you can see, I've put a frame keyframe on 60. And if you don't know how to put a keyframe, you can just uh, click this diamond button. And it will add a keyframe. So in this case, at frame 50, it was 0. I just uh, click this button at 0. And at frame 60, I, I just typed in minus 50 and put a keyframe. And at the frame 110, it's all the way to minus 500 so as you can see I'm just pumping up the force field and that's what makes the flower you know go like this if there's no force field it will just uh, go like this because of gravity and due to the uh, force field is just pulling like this so that's what we want because always flower bloom like this in this way you know 
if this is a flower it will our petal will always go like this it won't go straight down like this so that's what we want and to well, create that we'll add a force wheel and after that we'll just uh, select our flower and under gravity let me go to gravity and just going we are just going to play with the gravity over here so as you can see it's over zero and at the frame uh, the frame 10 I have set the zero gravity 3fm at frame 20 is minus 0 0.05 so that uh, my negative means that the gravity is pulling upwards positive means is the gravity is pulling downwards so in this case the gravity is in upwards so the petal should uh, you know wobble like this so that's what the effect we want and uh, at frame 60 again the gravity is zero and the at the frame 110 it's again zero but because we want a constant rate over here till, till here and at the frame 40 i believe it's again uh, minus 0 0.05 because we want our gravity to act like this so once you've done that we'll just have to set up some cameras and blah 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 blah, blah stuff it will just work wonders that's it and another point i missed is that uh the our flower is unblooming itself so in order to make it bloom we have to reverse the video so if, if you just reverse the video you can see it's unblooming itself so we can achieve that by rendering it as a image sequence or a video and you can just head over to uh let's say uh, davinci revolve which is of open source uh, uh, you know software you can download it for free on your pc and uh, let's wait a second just to just open it and here's the project file we are just doing uh, doing it and in this case i have just uh, reversed the project file i'm just going to delete this on because of copyright some inflation so as you can see uh, this is our file and as you can see it's blooming so to reverse the video what we have to do is that we'll just uh, click on a uh, clip uh, we have to import the clip and we'll right click on it and under change speed we'll just going to set it to negative or we'll just uh, click on this reverse speed and automatically it should uh, reverse it should look like this when you you know import and after you do the changes it should look like uh, before so that's the point i missed so yeah thumbs up give it a thumbs up if you like give a sub if you loved it thanks for watching guys